Brake pads, a very interesting topic, a very specific and a very, 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 how do I put it? It's, it's a very important topic. When you look at brake pads, that is the most prime factor of any motorcycle. Be it even, I mean, all, all the way from a Pulsar up to a 1600 GTL, if you don't have the right set of braking power, you are going to end up in a very bad situation. Now, that's where we come into deciding or maybe helping you out to understand how the different components of brake uh, purchases, brake pad purchases and maintenance of your brake life, you know, is something that we actually want to look at in this video. To start with, there are three brands that we do. We have EBC, which is standing as the dominating guy from UK who's been in India for quite a long time. Um, right now, supplying for cars and for bikes. Of course, we do the motorcycle segment. We have them available from, I think, an X-Pulse all the way to a 1600 GTL. We can definitely help you with the brake pads. However, each motorcycle, each year of manufacture and each component variant of that motorcycle. Um, an example would be the Street Triple came in two different models. I mean, this is the fastest and the quickest I can actually remember. There is a Brembo caliper variant and there is a Nissan caliper variant. The brake pads change in both of these as well. The patterns are different, the mounting pins are different and the part numbers are different. So whenever you're on my website and you really have a doubt as to what happens when it comes to the right brake pad, please make sure you go into the vehicle search category. On the vehicle search, select your motorcycle, select the year of manufacture and then always make sure you look front and rear compatibility as well. When you go to the vehicle compatibility, there will be a list of motorcycles and the years mentioned in each brake pad to confirm if you're choosing the right brake pad. There can even be a difference from the 2018 to the 2019, which could actually be a 2018 register, but then the worldwide bike has changed mid-year and that'll be a new brake pad. So it is that precise. When you look at EBC, when you look at Galfer, these are performance guys. You know, they run, Galfer also runs into the super, super sport world, very close to Brembo in terms of performance line. And when you look at EBC, they work as the world dominator for all types of adventure touring, city, commuter, you have your standard sport touring and your quick ride guys. I mean, this, this thing works across motorcycles. Galfer is a little more on the performance side as well. So yes, you need a little more braking. Galfer is what you look at. Reasons why we would want to upgrade brakes. A lot of guys even now ask me, I mean, I have a few friends who are like, I have brake pads coming from the company. They know if it works with, you know, the, 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 the bike that I'm buying. So they should know power to braking and you know, how, how it'll balance. But I, I I did notice this myself. I mean, even to the simplest of aspect of a 390 or or even, even an Africa Twin or any motorcycle. Hondas are really good, by the way. But then when you look at it, we always don't use these motorcycles to the defined limit that the company says. There is an urge to push that motorcycle. And I'm sure every one of you know that. There's that one minute where you'd like to whack open the throttle and then there is a sudden risk factor or sudden thing that you just want to slow down. That is when increasing the brake capacity or the brake performance actually makes a difference. Now that whole idea is not just a brake pad. If you look at the whole structure of a motorcycle, it starts from the kind of fluid inside your master cylinder to the pipes or the hoses, what is transferring this brake fluid and pressure to the actual caliper, the rotors, the brake pads itself, and the type of um, metal that you use in the brake pad. All the way from a semi-center or a ceramic standard brake pad to the GPFAX, EFAX uh, in EBC or the Supersport white pads that come in Brembo or even in Galfer. They are ranged depending on the kind of riding you do, the kind of expertise that you have and the kind of terrains that you're looking at as well. Now, when you look at all of this, the right set of brake pads not or will not complete the story. If you're having a brake fade, even a simple change of the brake fluid, regular checkup, if you have bubbles, are you getting jitters on the brake? These are things that we need to check. I mean, I think we all believe in the factor of once a year or Blake, all, all fluids on the motorcycle should change, which is your... Um, you have your engine coolant, the brake fluids, you know, all of those things which we normally don't change every service, we need to change that once a year. Brake fluids are a very important components as well. From your standard touring conditions where you have a, uh, let's say a random example of Maxima brake fluids which have basic up to 400 degrees Celsius. And if you're actually using extreme performance, then you need to go to the race fluids which are 600 plus degrees Celsius supporting systems. How they work is the combination and the composition of the fluid inside is built in such a way that that dissipates heat. And when combined with the right set of hoses, which could be even HEL or even a standard OEM upgrades, which you can get in some bikes, which are steel braided lines, they actually will combine together to give a better performance till it reaches the brake pad. 
Once you're there, if you know which pad you're choosing, right? You've got a superbly solid stopping motorcycle. Now you can also go up the line and look at, you know, external master cylinders, which act as a performance pad from Brembo. You have MCS, a lot of brands as well, but let's just stick to the brake pads today. So when you look at the next part, um, a lot of guys also have this, in the, this included me. I'm going to exclude the factor of a lot of guys. I'm going to tell myself my experience. When the first time I looked at a brake pad, I mean, for a simple bike is the Domina. I was quite worried. How do you I mean, it was it was always there the first time when you look at a motorcycle and every brake caliper system, the mounting pins, the locking pins, all of these are different. How do you know what to do? User manual works and a lot of guys may not or may not may or may not have the time to actually look at the user manual. Just watch what the, the fitment guys are doing the first time. And if you see in the video now, we're looking at a Tiger 900. This is a friend of mine and a valued customer came in after 12,000 kilometers of riding the motorcycle and he's still running the OEM pads. We did look at how the brake pads are worn out and we realized, yes, it is time to change. It was re near, nearing the death of life. Please make sure when your brake pads are reaching the 10% or at least, well, I would say 20, but at least 10%, please change the brake rotors. I mean, the brake pads. The reason being as and when it reaches the nearing stages, which you see in the video there. You would see that more the rub that happens, more the raw base metal is reaching. And finally, if this starts rubbing into the brake, yeah, that's going to damage your rotor and end up having you spend a lot more on that. Now, of course, how do you find that out? Most of the bikes, when you look at the caliper from the rear, you would see brake pads are installed this way. If you look to the right, if this is the disc and you look to the left and the right of the disc, you will see wear and tear from the plate and the brake pad itself. A lot of brake pads have the measuring line which helps you understand the life of the brake pad and uh, once you're ready for a change you can watch on the tiger how we do that now this is the tiger 900 uh, we are looking at the brembo oem caliper this bike has done 12,000 kilometers i've just pulled out the brake pad decent wear and tear it's high time that we replace this of course so the gentleman is here to replace with the ebc um, fully double edge center brake pads. Now, something that I would like to point out as a lot of people have this uh, as a question. This is the OEM brake pad. This is a double edge center, which is a tougher compound in terms of adventure and touring conditions. However, this bike has been used 12,000 kilometers on the stake brake pad. I'm um, sorry, the stock brake pad. Do you see the rotors have standard wear and tear lines as well? So the idea that you know, upgrading your brake pads to EBC or to Galfer or to one of these brands will actually start wearing out your rotors. I would say across all the brake pads, yes, the performance differs. It is exactly like going to a, uh, a car guy or a bike guy and adding a performance package and then expecting the best of mileage. The higher your performance, the more the wear and tear happens. So every brake pad will wear and tear your disc and that is how it functions as this rubs against the actual caliper is when you actually get the brake force to go ahead and stop this uh, stop the machine so wear and tear being larger again brembo is a brake performance unit they are into hardcore race performance their wear and tear is actually quite high as you can see this however ebc is considered more for touring conditions a little calmer but gives a beautiful bite and works in many conditions a lot longer than oem brake pads now to look at how we install this is of course a series of processes that we follow we first um, you know take the brake pad place it as per the oem defined points and uh, obviously we will have to make sure that the pins are correctly placed in in the frame and of course andy being extremely well balanced with the whole system and doing it day in and day out he's the expert it's very simple but yes initially it may take a few seconds but that's how you place it and once you do you will take the whole caliper and mount it back onto the rotor. Make sure the placing of the cabling, if there are any around the cables or around the brake lines are placed very well. We will go ahead, use the exact same mount screws, bolts back onto the system as OEM. And I'm sure as a lot of you guys must actually have the confidence even after seeing this. Yes, it is quite simple to actually remove this. You do this into two and both your front pads are off and that's how simple it is
that one last bit of tightening that you need to make sure always keep in mind the torque values are important do not over torque these systems more than what is prescribed in the user manual or do ask your mechanic whoever is installing it the next time what torque value should be followed for the same now as you can see we are done here we'll go ahead and lock this out a skilled professional will make this seem a lot easier but guys it's as simple as that and that's it we have the front brake pads changed so just to sum it up when you're looking at standard touring and performance uh, which is more of the long distance the overhauls a lot of braking a lot of heat dissipation ebc works really well with this setup but yes maybe if you're a guy actually whacking the throttle who has the intent to go faster than what you know is something that not most of the tourers do look at the galfer setup as well now on ebc you might see this on some of these brake pads on galfer you will see white uh, paint given on this specifically designed on certain motorcycles when they brand themselves know that there is a large amount of heat uh, transferred during braking or there are chances we may use hard braking on them these are add-on systems that reduce the transfer of heat to the actual caliper itself further cooling down the system to make sure your fade is lesser as i was saying earlier choose the right set of brake pads you have us on instagram you have us on our customer service and our sales line you also have the website with the categorization select the right year select the right motorcycle and you will definitely make sure you find the right brake pads we're always here to help you thank you so much for watching this i'm shrijith i'll see you in the next one